this question we're asked to express 2 sine x plus uh, 3 cosine x. Notice the x's are in degrees here in the form r sine x subtract alpha where alpha, where r is bigger than 0 and alpha is between 0 and 90. So um, not radians in this case. Same old stuff though. So for part a we write this down. We're trying to express 2 sine of x subtract 3 cosine of x in this form. So we want it identical to r sine of x subtract alpha. Expanding this side, we would get r sine x cosine alpha subtract r cosine x sine alpha. Now, same old stuff here. Uh, what do we notice about the coefficient of sine x? Well, it's 2, and the coefficient of sine x here is 3 cos alpha. What's the coefficient of the uh, the negatives are both the same. Just worth noting here, negatives are the same. So don't have to worry about negatives. They are already matched. So the coefficient of the cosine x is 3. So what's the coefficient of the cosine x here? Well, it's r sine alpha. So same old stuff. So write our equations down. The first thing we can say, therefore, is that r sine alpha must equal 3. And we can say that r cosine alpha must equal 2. Um, and from that we can write our r, so our r is going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared, 2 squared add 3 squared, which is 4 add 9, which is 13, so r is going to be the square root of 13. Also we can state, dividing these equations, we can state that tan alpha, this divided by this is 3 over 2, so alpha is going to be inverse tan of 3 over 2. Calculate it out. In radian, in, in degrees mode this time, so... Um, mode degrees, so we're going inverse tan of 3 over 2, 56.3. So what what we let's do it to three significant figures because we're not told otherwise. So 56.3 alpha is equal to 56.3 degrees. Don't forget to state your final uh, piece of work. So therefore, what we want is we want that we've we've worked out that two sine x subtract three cosine x can be written in this form. The square root of 13, um, sine of x subtract alpha, so it's sine of x subtract 56.3 degrees. Done. This one done for four marks. Show that this equation can be written in this form here. So actually, let, let me just take a, a photograph of this so I don't have to keep scrolling up. I'm going to take a photograph of these two things here. It's one easy mark here, so this shouldn't take us long for this first part. So, show that that equation can be written in that form. So let's just do, write down what we see. So, cosec x is 1 over sine x. So that's 1 over sine x plus 3 cot x. Well, 3 cot x is, uh, let's remember that tan x is sine x divided by cosine x. So therefore, cot x is going to be the reciprocal of this, which is cosine x over sine x. So straight away, 3 of this, so it's plus 3 cosine x divided by sine x, like that, is equal to 2. Multiply everything by sine x, so we have 1, add 3 cosine x is equal to 2 sine x. And rearrange this, so we'd have 1 is equal to 2 sine x, subtract 3 cosine x. Nice and straightforward. Actually, rewrite it with this on the left. So 2 sine x subtract 3 cosine x is going to be equal to 1. No problem for 1 mark. Now we're asked to solve this equation being equal to 2. This equation we said is the same as this equation. They are equivalent to each other. So instead of solving this, so when we're going, when we're going to solve this for part C, so when we want to solve cosec x plus 3 cot x is equal to 2. Instead, we're going to solve 2 sine x subtract 3 cosine x is equal to 1. They are equivalent. Solving one gives me the answer to the other one. Now, obviously, looking at this question, this was an R sine uh, alpha method. So we're going to use the R sine uh, format of this to solve this. And what did we say this was? We said it was, let's have a look root 13 sine x subtract 56.3 so this is root 13 sine x subtract 56.3 degrees is equal to 1 so that's equivalent 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to divide by root 13. So sine of x subtract 56.3 is going to be 1 divided by root 13. Inverse sine both sides, x subtract 56.3 is the inverse sine of 1 divided by root 13. Calculator out, inverse sine uh, fraction 1 divided by root 13. Oh, uh, inverse sine 1 divided by the square root of 13, close brackets, is 16.1 degrees. So x subtract 56.3 is 16.102 degrees, etc. Now let's look what we want our answers for. We want our answers between 0 and 360 to one decimal place, giving our answer to one decimal place. So between 0 and 360, quick sketch with the sine graph. I'm going to draw the sine graph back 56.3 uh, degrees. So I'm going to draw it back to here. So it looks something like this. So what do we say we want as well? Between 0 and 360. So where are our answers? Well, 16 degrees is over there, like that. And um, there's going to be another one over here, like that. Now, um, there'll be no others here that when we add the 56.3 will bring us between 0 and 360. So that's 16 degrees that way, so it must be 16 degrees that way. So our two answers, we're going to solve x subtract 56.3 is equal to 16.102. We're going to get a set of answers from that. And x subtract 56.3 is going to be 180, take away that. So I'm just going to get the calculator out. I'm going to say 180, take away that which is 163.897, so 163.897. Okay, so there are two answers, so therefore x is this plus this, and x is this plus this. So we're already do doing with this one, so I'm going to add on the 56.3 here, and I get 220.197. Uh, uh, what did they say they wanted it to? To one decimal place, so 220.2 degrees, 220 Point two degrees, and over here we've got the 16.102. I'm going to add on the 56.3, and I get myself 72.4, so 72.4 degrees. So there are two answers x is 72.4 and 220.2. They're both within the region that we want, and they're both to one decimal place, so we're done.